In this video, we are going to use the Auto Renewable Magazine template to demonstrate how to set up a subscription magazine in Apple's newsstand. There are several advantages to selling magazine subscriptions compared to selling individual issues of a magazine. The obvious one is, once a reader signs up, the subscription continues automatically until they cancel. And to make signing up to a subscription more attractive, Apple allow you to offer a free trial period of, say, seven days for the reader to access and read your magazine on their iPad. Apple even allow you to offer an extended free trial if the reader opts into your subscriber list. Of course, if you're going to offer, say, a monthly magazine subscription, you will need to produce a new issue of your magazine every month. So let's create our new Apple Newsstand application using the Auto Renewable Magazine template. Go to Create New App and scroll down and we'll find it on page 7. And here it is here. Click on Select and then click on Use This Template. And in this case we're going to call it Cash Secrets Revealed. For example, click on Create, and this is a native iPad. We're just going to configure this all later, so let's click on Configure Later, and click on Done. And this is the Auto Renewable Magazine template. Let's quickly run through the features of this template. Up the top here we have our logo and your magazine slogan. Next we've got the Buy button. You can obviously change the text and the images here. Clicking on the Buy button will take them to the Purchase dialog. And here we have an image of the magazine. Again, clicking on the image of the magazine takes them to the Purchase dialog. And below that, we've got the Archive link. Clicking on that takes them to the Buy button. And now we've got the Restore button. The Restore button is essential because if the user has previously purchased from you on a different device or on the same device but reset their device for some reason, they need to be able to restore their previous purchase. So the Restore button must be present on your newsstand magazine. So let's quickly add some content to our magazine app. We'll go to Edit Pages. The first one we're going to edit is Tab 1. And we are going to change this image here. We'll select a new image. And I'm going to upload a file. I'll open that. And we'll choose that. Apply. And there's our new image in our magazine. Let's click on Save and Done. Now while we're at it, why don't we adjust the background? So we'll go to Style and we can choose a background image and there's quite a few to choose from but I'm just going to choose something simple. Let me choose this as our background image. Add to resources. Click on choose. And now apply changes. And now we have this nice background image for our magazine. Don't actually like it now I've chosen it. So let's try a different one. And let's choose something from page 3. Okay, I like the metallic one. Okay, let's use this metallic brush look. Okay, apply changes. There we go. And I want to make the magazine cover a little bit bigger, so let's go back, click on Done, and let's go back to Edit the Page. And you can actually just click on this, and there's a setting here called Metrics. And currently it's set to Percentage, and it's 34%, which is why it's so small. Let's make it 90%. Apply. Okay, now we've got a magazine cover filling almost an entire page. And if it was on a larger iPad screen, it's going to fill that page. If it's on a smaller screen, it's going to scale down to that. Okay, click on Save and Done. Next, we need to upload our magazine. So let's click on Edit. And we're going to convert this to the PDF editor. Look for that. PDF editor. PDF editor convert and now I need to upload our PDF upload file look for the file click on open 
that'll upload. Okay, now I'll click on choose. Next we'll click on generate preview. And now we can edit our PDF as we did in part one of this series. For example, we could add a clickable image over our magazine to play a video. Click on the gear icon. Choose the image that will appear there. Click on choose and the action. In this case, we're going to go to a YouTube video, for example. Now we need the YouTube video ID. So if I just go to YouTube and find a video, click on the share link, click on the URL, copy that, Control C to copy. We'll go back to here, paste in that URL, and we take out from HTTP all the way up to V equals. Watch, question mark V equals. Delete that. And you see there's a and featuring, and we'll take that out as well. Now we're just left with a string of characters. And click Save. Now if we touch on this link inside the magazine, it'll actually launch a YouTube video player inside the magazine without leaving the app. In this way, we can easily add interactive features to our app magazine. The next thing to do is to add entries into our table of contents. We scroll down to the bottom of the page, click on Add. And we could add an image from our resources, for example. Maybe the first one would be the cover page. Choose the title. Let's call it iCache Secrets. And we won't have a subtitle for it. And for the action, we'll choose PDF page. And we're going to jump to page one. OK, let's add another one on Add. Let's call this one Table of Contents. And that is going to be page two. So PDF page, jump to page two. And we can add one more. And this one is actually going to be called introduction. And introduction is falling on page three. PDF page, jump to page three. And so on. Click on save changes and click on Done. So let's have a look at the sequence when a reader purchases a subscription to your magazine. They'll either click on the Buy button here or on the magazine cover, which will take them to this Purchase dialog. And that is in fact set up here on this page Purchase.html. Let's click on the Edit button and see the settings here. In here, we can choose between a non-consumable, consumable, auto-renewable or a free subscription. In this case, we're going to be doing auto-renewable. And here goes the product ID, which we need to get from iTunes when we set up the app. And it'll take them to archive.html. Why are we going to archive.html and not directly to the magazine? Well, let's go back and have a look at archive.html. Let's click on edit for archive.html. And you see all the magazines are in here. So when they purchase a subscription, they'll have access to every magazine. So to explain how this works, we'll just remove all these magazines and we'll start again. Image 1 will be our first magazine and it will be iCache Secrets Revealed. The cover for the, Here's our cover here, we'll choose that. And we'll call that, for example, Issue 1. And we'll link to the page Magazine 1. And as you add future issues, you just add in Magazine 2, Magazine 3, Magazine 4, month after month. And click on Save. Click on Done. So now we need to set up our purchase.html. So we need to get this product ID set up. So let's go to itunesconnect.apple.com and create our product identifier. 